Good morning, happy Sunday, and welcome to episode 132, Snow Crystal. Um, we're really getting up there, aren't we? <laughs> and happy September. I can't believe it's September already, and we're on the Labor Day weekend, which is nice. Um, but we only have about 16 weeks until Christmas. Precisely 16 weeks until Christmas, because it's on a Sunday. Um, so, I didn't mean to do another Christmas-based um, set, but this snow crystal set was sitting on top of my to-be-used sets, and I couldn't resist. So... I'm not moving all the way to uh, Christmas stuff in a panic, but um, I just happened to have done two in a row. But next week will almost certainly not be Christmas and I've got an idea for what I'm going to do for next uh, next week. And I'm going to have a lot more time because um, my brother went away this weekend to his college roommates and they went to a party at a neighbor's last night and this morning one of the hosts tested positive for COVID. So my brother decided he's going to stay there until he can be tested because he doesn't want to bring it home because I'm slightly compromised. So, um, which is nice of him, but it does mean I can't play board games. So, um, I'll probably be doing more crafting. So this could be fun. I mean, of course, I'm used to having him around, so it'll be weird, but uh, I'll get a lot done. So what do I need to tell you? Um, I just found out, because I haven't been reading, that um, we're getting weekly specials from Stampin' Up! And from the 1st until the 28th so of this month. So um, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to post them online. So if you haven't seen them, take a look at my page and they'll be there. Um, what else? I offered free shipping for an order of uh, $28 or more up until the 8th of September. So there's four more days of that to run. Um, and of course, as usual, if you place a order with me of 25 bucks or more, I'll send you the card stock that you need to make the cards I'm about to show you. So, um, I think that's all I have to tell you. So I'm going to turn you down so you can see me doing last week's raffle. I am thrilled to say that I actually sent out last week's raffle prize on um, Monday. So I'm getting better. My new, my new process is working. So let me just, oh yes, turn you round so you don't get blinded as I tip you up. And let's just move this forward. Yes, I've got a, a punch on here because I don't want my, um, I don't want this to overbalance. Oh, I put it the wrong way, didn't I? Uh, there we go, much better. Carefully thought about that this morning and then put it the wrong way so I got more of the... <laughs> yeah, okay. Oops. So, um, who have I got? Diana, Barbara, Linda, Kathy and Kim. So, let's see who wins this raffle. For Kathy. She's been quite lucky lately. Okay, mark that. So I can move this out of the way. And, oh, I also have my mail and make out there. Um, I'm still having trouble getting um, a way to um, allow a choice and email me to let me know the choice. And my brother said he'd help me when he got home, but that won't be quite as early as I thought. So um, we may wait. But next month it will be better, I'm pretty sure. So here is, I already showed you this, but um, yes, I did. So let me show you the cards. So I've got this one, 
And then I used this from um, from Brightest Glow. Mostly because it was out on the desk because I hadn't put things away from last week. <laughs> uh, yeah, you know how it goes, right? So, and I cut it out with the smallest layering circle dies because I didn't want to cover up too much of this. I'm quite, I quite like this one. Actually, I quite like all of them. And then I went crazy and I used Sweet Sorbet, Starry Sky and um, Orchid Oasis. And then this is from the um, Layering a Glow dies, which I still haven't played with these fun looking pieces or that. I've just used the, um, the things for the sentiments, but I'll get to it. And then here, this is sideways. Well, I suppose it could be that way. Well, I made it that way, this way, I mean. And this has got some solid faceted gems on, I think. Yes, it does. Yeah, so, and this has got some of the, here are the solid faceted gems, which are rather sparkly, even though they're just solid color. And these are the 22 to 24 in color matte decorative dots. That's a bit of a mouthful, but I think they're gorgeous. So I used a few of those on here. So I guess it is time. Oh, yes, that's what I wanted to do first. I'm going to do this one first, then this one, then this one. But I'm going to do this piece first so it has a chance to dry so let me get these out of my reuse I it's the same it's the same bag every oh I've got something oh I see hang on let me go and get them yes you have to be careful opening one of those because you could lose a few things so right so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to find yes here we go so I took a Pacific Point marker and um, and as you can see roughly yeah wobbling around it doesn't matter, roughly just outline those. Then I got, what did I get? Uh, Bermuda Bay, yes, that's what it is. And a bit more careful now, because I don't want to really get Pacific Point on my, on this marker, Bermuda Bay. So I'm just gonna, Oh. do the edges because that's the hard bit and then I'll just come over this bit like so I find it easier as a lefty to be doing it this way around if I try and do this one it's just harder for me somehow I don't know why but you know figure it out which way around you prefer to do it and there we go, and now just fill the rest in, like so, and then I'm going to do this one. Like so. very rough and ready and finally I've got Coastal Cabana to do the rest of it yeah I can't do it that way 
can't really see how far over I'm going. So I like to, that's why I keep turning it so I can actually see where I'm putting color. I like to do the edges first, which obviously makes sense because then I don't have to be so careful. Not that I'm being terribly careful because I'm going to spritz this with water, so it's going to run anyway. But and I'll show you some of my earlier attempts. Some of them are, well, one of them in particular is quite amusing because I was just testing out the idea and I did it on ordinary paper. Well, you'll see. So there's that all kind of done. Now, uh, where's my, here it is. Got my spritzer, I'll put this down. And I found that spritzing from on high, oh, Maybe if I pointed it in the right direction, it would help. <laughs> oh, I just saw something I missed. So we'll just, there we go. Now turn it over. I trimmed this one already. So can we get it straight and It was a lot easier to to do this on a bigger piece and then so this is why we're doing it now because this will need to dry it's a bit off so I might trim that off so it looks a bit more um, square but I'll put that over there for right now okay and as we're on the subject I'm going to show you the other ones so this is the first one I did, and I was mystified. I thought, which of these colors is giving me this purple e color? And I was quite confused. This is um, just regular cardstock. So then I had another go, and I thought, oh, what if I add um, silver embossing powder to the wet bits? Absolute failure, because you got big blobs and there's still this hint of purple but not much and that's when I realized it was because the last thing I had used this stamp for was with sweet sorbet and I clearly hadn't cleaned it properly <laughs> so, so the mystery was solved and then I did this one and because I was still interested in the sparkle I put some Wink of Stella on it but it just didn't really add anything so I just went back to plain and um, I think I'm happier for that. So now I have to get this clean. Uh, just stamp it a few times and yeah, it's interesting. What if I, oh, never mind. I do like these colors together. They are quite lovely. Okay, let's uh, try not to uh, break the place. Right, and then let's just clean this. And I see that my um, well, it doesn't matter that it's wet. It's going to get wet again. Okay. See that the reason my my um, spritzer isn't rolling away is because it's up against my glasses, you know, the ones I wear for crafting or computing. This should help. <laughs> aye, aye, aye. Okay, right. So we've got a Knight of Navy. See, I've been practicing. <laughs> And I don't need these right this minute, so I'll move them out of the way. And I'll open my uh, 
it's very stiff to open which i guess means it's a good thing because it's keeping my my um embossing powder nicely so so going to add a whole load of of this and then we're going to ink up this stamp as you will have seen this is the only stamp in this um, stamp set which originally I thought well that's a bit limiting but you know what it's a kind of fun I've been enjoying using this oops yeah don't put it down before I'm ready I think there Let's see what we get and just make sure it's all pressed down nicely yeah it actually looks quite straight miracles will never cease hey so oops I do need a bigger thing really don't I okay uh, let me just try and clean this up a bit yeah that's a fair bit of embossing powder that shouldn't be there right um, got this let me sit there for a minute might as well do the other piece of embossing if I can yes this is going to be this is going to be uh, tricky because it only just fits uh, go for it um, Wow, I did not expect that. In fact, I have one over there, ready done, that I stamped and then um, then die cut, which is, of course, the easier way to do it, but not if you're trying to make a video. So, oh, maybe I should put the... Uh, maybe I should put the... Uh, um, where's my peg? Hey. Maybe I should actually put the embossing powder on. What do you think? I cannot believe that worked. I mean, when you look at the size of this and the size of that, I, I am astounded that that worked. I was so positive that it would not work that I'd already made one. So, unbelievable. Anyway, if you've turned me up, I'm about to do this, so you might want to turn me down. And let, or I will try and speak louder while I'm doing this. I love watching this happen. Makes me so happy. I think it makes a lot of us very happy. Ooh. Put that back. And then. Ooh. I wonder what I just blew off the. Uh, off there. With my just cleaning it up a little bit, but I pointed it in the other direction. Oh, I know. I think I lost my. Ah, oh, I see it. 
I lost my two little blue things, but I, or one little blue thing, but I don't actually need it now because it's done and it worked. Just watching it come alive. Oh, love it. I know I say this pretty much every time I do this, but it is so magical. Alchemy at its best. I mean, they always tried to turn lead into gold. Well, this looks a bit lead-like. Feels like we've uh, done it. Incidentally, this is showing, I don't know if you can see it, but it's showing a shine here. And that's where I um, use this, which is why I always like to do the burnishing of the fold. Uh, nice color on it, um, on the back, because it does end up with this little shine. Then I like to get my cloth out and get rid of any trace of the powder from here, which I just dropped onto here. So there we go. <laughs> and then if you've got some annoying little bits, I've found like this piece that you can kind of, well, maybe not with big pieces, but little pieces you can just scratch off. Sometimes. So, if it really bothers you, that is. So, um, cleaned you up too. And now all I have to do is put this in place. And I'm going to pop it up. Because why not? Put one in the middle. I don't know if others can fit. Um, that one wants to come off, okay, and there, right, so, just do a couple of these, like so, and put this right in the middle, there we are, just bending it back a bit. So here is our card. So I'll put that over there. Move this one out of my way. Move the, yeah, it gets very messy around here, doesn't it? I suspect you've already noticed that. Okay. Don't need you anymore. But I do need the sentiment that I There's one of them, and there's the other one. Because I like to have two just in case. So, we're now on to this card. So, put that back over there. Don't need this anymore. And I'll do the greet. I'll try the greeting first. I don't have a spare one, so let's hope it goes well. I'm going to do it in Sweet Sorbet. Put that there. Sweet Sorbet. And let's see how I do. Oh my. This is a good day. I'm going to have to craft all day. Because it seems to be going quite well. So, didn't need to close that, but that's okay. So I've got a nice, very vanilla piece here. 
and this is where you can potentially get things a little grubby so that was just um that doesn't matter that was just i click i did it this was just um versamark so it doesn't really matter so i'm going to ink most of that up i think yeah you know i'll put it in the place where it isn't inked so i'll just ink the whole thing and then i'll probably put it on here again but <laughs> it's okay uh huh so what am i gonna do so it was something like move this over um about there yep nice now i have to move that out of the way stamp this off a bit pull in my cleaner much better okay now actually I don't need this anymore do I so I should get rid of it move it out of the danger zone as in my card so next I'm going to I think do this one the orchid oasis lovely color really beautiful seem to be incapable of keeping it on the stamp but you know there you go so now this one is going to go kind of oops sorry head butted you like so okay one more cleaning Oops. Okay, and finally, the sweet sorbet. Well, which I'll close immediately. There we go. Uh, where's my? Oh, there it is. So. Right, I'm going to put that over there because I don't need, you don't need to watch me cleaning it up again. So, so there's a slight blur there. So I think the greeting looks fantastic there, don't you think? Yes, I, I thought you would. So, um, let's put this on a sweet sorbet car base mm. no nope, I still like it this way so let's place this
doesn't seem square. Sometimes your eyes just don't want to see things, or you do want to. I I don't know what it is, but um, here we go. And what a surprise! I don't have any nice edges left, so I guess I'll have to do it the old-fashioned way and actually use lots of dimensionals. I do like the edges more, I think. I think I've told you before that I used to end up with using all the dimensionals and then getting a new pack out and I had plenty of edges and then I realised how useful they were and so now the edges get used first. <laughs> Oh well. So I'm going to put this right over that smudge because I can. Then we have to decide what colour is going to look right. Hmm. Where am I going to put them? Is that straight? No, it's not. Just move it a tad. There we go. So I don't think it should be the red. I think I'll go with what I did before, which was these. Get some. Come on. Okay, I'll just renew some of this. Right. So I'm going to put one here. These are being quite recalcitrant. One there. And the third one. I'm going to have to find somewhere to put um, these tiddly ones. They seem to be going for the big ones, but they're pretty cool too. So there we have it. That's card two. And card three is, is this. So I'm going to trim this side so that it doesn't look quite so lopsided. No, even if I do it that, no, it's, I don't like it. So hang on a second, stand up and Trim that down a bit. There. Much better. So, I think, oh yeah, I just was like, oh no, did I, did I change the card completely? No, I didn't. That's okay. So now all I have to do, now that it's nice and dry, um, is attach this to a Bermuda Bay uh, card base. I don't use Bermuda Bay much and I don't know why. I mean, it's a beautiful colour. I, th I guess it's, the problem is that we have so many beautiful colours that it's hard to use them all. It's lucky that I don't like all of them. <laughs> There are definitely some I hardly ever use. So let me just get some ink on the, uh, ink, glue on the back of this. Quite a bit because this is heavy stuff. 
just have to make sure I put it in the right place because that's not coming off. Okay, it's that way. So, ah, here is my ruler. And I'm going to try and get it in the middle. With a, there we go. And there we have it. Not quite perfect, but not bad. And then I've got some of these uh, little solid faceted gems and I'm going to put some of the small ones on, on here. So, uh, one there. Turned over. Come on, get back. Can't put the other way. <laughs> okay, fine. And the final one is going about there. Sorry about my stomach growling. If you can hear it, it's not happy with me because I made it go running. And then I haven't given it any, any sustenance at all. Um, so here is what we have made. I decided that I didn't want to hide any of this with a greeting. So I figured the greeting can go inside, right? Uh, can you, oh yeah, you can see quite wide, can't you? Yep, I think you can see all those. So that's what we made today. I hope you liked it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I hope I've inspired you to get this um, snow crystal because I think it's got lots of potential. So thank you so much for joining me. And um, I'll see you next Sunday. Okay. Bye.